Hello, today we're going to talk about this right here, a countdown timer. How to do it, how to make it so that you or your mods can control it. All using overlays from stream elements. Let's go. Okay, so you want to get a timer onto your video or your stream. Uh, there are kind of like two or three different ways to do this. One is to use an app, and they're out there that will uh, allow you to start a timer and it outputs a text file. And you take that text file and you import it into a, um, a text build in OBS. Problem with that is, is that if you want to change it, you have to load that app, or not really load that app, but go into the app, make the changes. Your mods can't make the change if they need to for whatever reason. And so it is an option. In my opinion, it's not the best option. The other option is there's websites to do it. Websites give you all these cool little counters and things like that. Again, um, it's good for, in some cases, uh, but the things that I was always looking for is I want my mods, or even me, to, to control it. And even be able to control it with my my uh, Elgato Stream Deck, which is which is a pretty big deal to me because I use it all the time, and it's been nice to be able to, if I need to add some, some time to the timer, I can just push a button and uh, it, it does what it needs to do. Uh, so the way that I'm doing it is I'm using stream elements and I created a custom widget. Let's get in uh, to that real quick here. And so I have the widget open here and a widget, custom widget is something that you can do inside of stream elements that allows you to really customize anything that you want. Uh, it comes in four things, you have your HTML, your CSS, your JavaScripts, and your fill. I have all the files uh, and how to get those down in the description. You'll get the, you can get the files from our Discord server and also give you a link that you can click on and Streamlabs will allow you to import that into uh, either a current overlay or create a new overlay for that. Now, you don't need to know any of that. Now, if, if you do know a little bit, you'll be able to customize this, maybe even a little, a little more than what I have given you. Uh, but you don't need to know any of that. I have all the settings right over here. So first thing is your command. What do we want to call this? How are we going to activate or clear or add time uh, in the chat? So I just, you can customize this however you want. I do just by default exclamation point timer. Makes perfect sense to me. Uh, and then you have your options to config, uh, change the config on what colors of text you want. Uh, the font name, font size, how if you want bold, just different things like that. Now, I will say, while testing this, not all the fonts seem to work. And I don't know if it's just because they're not correct in Google's fonts or whatever. Uh, but just be aware that as you play around with it, you'll notice that some of the fonts may not work. And the last thing you can configure is the sound. So whenever the timer gets down to zero, do you want it to have an audible sound? Do you want to... Uh, not it's up to you you can play the sound choose to play a sound or not to play and and also you'll be able to upload a sound that you want to play have it play whenever the timer gets to zero so we have All right. uh, that timer or that not timer that sound playing uh so that, let's show what it looks like so i am going to go into uh my twitch chat okay i finally got all my windows how i want them so that you can see this if i do exclamation point timer and I set it to five minutes. Oh, sorry. Uh, start five minutes. You can see that the timer starts for five minutes, right? The cool thing about this, again, I can type this in. I can have stream my uh, 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 a uh, like a stream deck, Elgato stream deck, or something equivalent that does it as well. But let's say like, oh no, I, I'm getting it's not quite time to start yet, and so I want to on the timer increase the time by i don't know let's make it uh three minutes and there you go adds three minutes to it and let's say for example i just want to do a completely different time i can just i can just tell the timer to start and we'll so we can hear the sound i'm going to say to start at uh 10 seconds and so you'll see it counts down to 10. once it gets to zero you'll hear the sound you'll hear the sound right about now all right all right and then it fades away right 
if let's say for example we have a new uh timeout and we want to start uh let's say at one hour and one hour 30 minutes and whoops i did timeout it's the time <laughs> timer start one 30 hour and 30 and let's say well i'm done with the timer whatever i'm able to clear the timer so i can type in timer and then clear and that will just clear the timer away and see it just clears it away it takes takes it away it doesn't play the audible sound it just basically removes it from the stream or from the screen okay so I'm going to show you how you actually put it in OBS. And this is the same way you're doing it for OBS or slobs or any of those that type of things, anything that has a browser source. So I have a starting soon screen. I'm going to add in a new browser and we'll call this uh, uh, starting soon timer. And I already have the, the, the file paste. And so now you don't see anything. So in order to get the just, just the right placement, I'm going to go ahead and start a timer. Timer add, and we'll say, I don't know, it doesn't matter what time it is. And then you can move this thing around. So here we go. Timer's done. So now anytime that I, uh, let's say, I uh, want to go from a camera into nothing, into like the starting soon screen. There it is. See, it always stays there. That's the beautiful thing about it. It always stays there until you need to remove it. But again, I need more coffee. I'm not ready. My coffee's not ready. I, oh, I need to, I need to add some more time. So I get to say timer add, uh, I need, I need five more minutes. I need five more minutes. And then boom, there we go. It's going to add five more minutes to it. And, uh, yeah, it's very, very simple. There are a lot of uses. I use it mostly for start, uh, the, my, uh, starting soon screen. You could use it for like a sub rewards, uh, bit rewards. I will have another version that will increase the timer depending on what kind of event that comes in. If somebody subs or donates, that'll be coming soon. It'll be using the same code base. It's just responding to those events that come across. So that's the part of this video is basically going to be just explaining a little bit how the thing works under the hood. I, there is going to be a little bit of understanding that you know a little bit of programming knowledge, maybe a little bit of JavaScript. I'm not going to go into much details, but just the general idea of how that works. So if there's something you need to change, uh, you can easily change it. So the first thing we're doing is, is that we're setting, we're having a variable current time and that allows you to, it's basically kind of like our, our object is our current time. How much time is left on the timer we have, if it's currently running or if it needs to be cleared. Now what's happening is, is right here on window, uh, add event listener, we're adding a listener for an, any time an event is received. In this case, on event received. And then we're doing some splitting up of what that event was. And we're making sure that it is uh, something that we're looking for. And one thing we're looking for is we're making sure, kind of go down through that, that the command is lowercase is exactly what it is we typed in over here. Okay, these brackets are kind of like uh, pre-parsed variables. And so the, the this exclamation point timer will end up being sticking in here. And then we want to make sure that the badge is either moderator or broadcaster. Now you would change this. If you don't want your mod, if you don't want your moderators to uh, have access to this, just remove this right here. And only you would be as the broadcaster would have access to it. Um, I just have some printing things out here to make sure everything's working. Uh, prints to the console don't need to know about that but if the option is clear we're going to set the timer to zero and we're going to tell it that it needs to be cleared i'll explain that in just a second here where we're starting we're just printing out some debugging information that we're starting we set the current time to zero and we parse the time that gets passed in now remember we parse in we pass in something that's like hours minutes and seconds so that'd be a one hour and 30 minutes and 30 seconds right so we just when the parts passing this into the parse time and that's another function down below we add up our current time which is our how many minutes hours and seconds uh that we get returned back and that's going to be our current time and if it's not running we tell it to start so that's the start if we need to add minutes it's basically the same thing we're just adding the current time 
to whatever was passed in. Now remember we can add in any amount of time using exclamation point timer in this case, because that's what we set our, our command as, add, and then the amount of time that we want to pass in. That's the commands. Now the thing is nice is, is if you want another command in here, if you want to put a pause or something else, you know, you can easily modify this to make those changes necessary. So whenever we tell it to start, uh, first thing we need is we want to make sure that we fade it in. It may have faded out, and so we got to make sure it's now showing again. And we tell it to update. So the update basically is doing all the math. It's figuring out how many seconds are left, uh, how many minutes out of the seconds, and all that kind of stuff. And it just sets the display uh, correctly. So the text we see, that's that's all it's doing. It's updating all that, and it's figuring out kind of like where it uh, needs to be. Uh, there's actually some little cleaning up here. I see. I need to do. I need to just. I don't need this in here anymore because uh, I changed the way that I was doing it. Hey, see, even when you're doing a video, you can always increase the quality of your code. And mostly removing code that you don't use anymore. Pro tip. Uh, here's parsing the time. I won't go into much detail, but this is just parsing all the things out and figuring out uh, how many hours, minutes, and seconds are in that. And it's not really how many hours, minutes, and seconds. It's well, anyway. I won't go into the, the complete details. Um, and then if the current timer, if, I, once the current, if the current time as it's doing the start is zero, is not zero, uh, we say it is running, because it is true, it's still running, and we set a timeout to redo start at one second, or in this case, a thousand milliseconds, which is one second. Else, if we tell it to play the video and we didn't clear it, remember you can clear it where it won't play the sound, uh, we will play the audio file and the volume. Then we will set a timeout so that while the audio is playing, we can say, okay, we want to actually now fade. We want to fade the, that, that timeout or the, the zeros away. And we'd want to do that after two seconds. So we, it's like, eh, 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 and it fades away. So if you need it to stay longer, stay shorter, you can come here and just change this fade. Now this would be a really good thing to add in here of how long, but you know, there's so much you can customize. Uh, and it, 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 it was just, yeah, yeah, there's just so much you can do. That's why it's a custom widget. Uh, and then we say, is it running? No, because now we're done. It's not running anymore. And if it happened to be cleared, we're almost always just going to set that it, it, the clear is false. And that is it. It's not that long. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, some um, animated CS things we have to set up here and there, but it's really pretty straightforward. Uh, and like I say, the, the code for uh, responding to subs and stuff is really similar. And so that will be coming later. Uh, but I wanted to go over the code because sometimes, you know, you can just learn a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And now if you see it, it's like, oh, I want to do this. And if you want to do that and you don't know how to do that, just leave a comment down below. I'll respond to you. And if there's something else that you would like to see uh, that you can't figure out how to do, it doesn't have to be with the, the chat. It's just anything. Uh, we were streaming. When I was talking about streaming, uh, we came up with this really awesome idea. Uh, I'm going to see if it's possible. I, I'm pretty sure I can get it to, to work, uh, but uh, you'll have to stay away or stay around or subscribe and hit that bell notification so, then, so that you'll see it. Uh, we got some, I got some pretty good ideas of how we can use something like this, not like this, but using uh, overlaps to interact with the stream, right? There are, there are things that I hope that you never have to use, but they're kind of good safety things and it allows, allows you, your mods to be able to be like, okay, we, we got, we got to turn it off or different things like that. So, um, I think it's going to be awesome. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope that uh, you learned a lot, and like I say, I like, I like how my videos to be very concise. I'm rambling now, but concise, get to the point, and hey, you know, here's a little bit extra, a little extra, extra, you know, you don't need to know about this. I put all the other important stuff at the very beginning, and now we're here at the very end. So until next time, happy streaming.